On a summer Saturday, students take over the gym at Westminster Colorado High School for an after-school activity that wasn't available when we were growing up. Are you ready? Drone soccer. Drone soccer is a flying sport sanctioned internationally by the World Air Sports Federation. Kyle Sanders is the ringleader for today's practice, which pits two teams of five players, each competitor operating a quadcopter drone. The goal is for each striker drone to cross the opposing goal line as many times as possible. And the strikers are scoring simultaneously. So the other four players are focused on that opposing team striker, oh, nice. trying to block them, you know, push them out of the way, keep them away from the goal, anything they can do to slow them down. The drones are encased in protective exoskeletons, which allows them to absorb most, but not all, mid-air contact. Drone soccer has its roots in South Korea. It was first played there back in 2018. It's since taken off globally, most definitely here in the U.S. Uh, welcome, everybody. That 2018 competition has given way to scores of STEM-related robotics programs, which, as parents are discovering, are meant to encourage their kids to consider a flying future at a time when pilots are in real demand. Turn it off. Let's restart it. So it's a great way to open the door to aviation careers and these fantastic opportunities to fly, become an engineer, you know, future astronaut. Like ducks to water, some whose interest in aviation began when they were very young <laughs> take to the sport immediately. Around like three, that's when I got into my aviation and that's when I started liking drones and NASA and rockets and space. Well, at first I wasn't too interested in it because it was like male dominated <laughs> and so it was kind of scary at first. Ah. Oh, all these sports are so physical, but then this drone soccer, it's like all brains kind of thing and I was all about the brain. <laughs> oh wait, you're recalibrating. This sport requires a combination of different skills. Really, really good communication. What makes a good drone pilot is reflexes and reaction time, but focus really. In my opinion, definitely patience. If you do try to rush this, this sport can be very complicated and it can be harder to fly a drone. Drone soccer Soccer was included in the recent World Air Games in Alabama, and more national competitions are planned. The action, consisting of three three-minute rounds of drone-to-drone -drone combat, is intense and brief. The batteries on these vehicles only last so long. The interest in drones right now is very, very high, and I think this is a great format. Um, so my hope is yes, that it'll catch on. Some compare this futuristic looking sport to a scene out of Star Wars. Its future may be now. Let's clap it up for drone soccer. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Westminster, Colorado.